me just look at the tie. Leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. You, you have blocked the tie. I wanted to see the tie. Yes, brother, you are anointed. Where is your wife? She's helping. The wife is this one. Shake hand. Come on. Be anointed for the work of God, you people, in Jesus' name. Look here. Can you hold it? Hold it. You are free. Yeah, because one of the things why I say she was all day, because I'm praying for her, and the Holy Spirit wants to put her down, but you don't want her to fall down. Yourself, you're just saying, oh Lord, hold oh on, lift her, lift her, lift her. And here, Holy Spirit say, down. Yourself, you're just saying, hey, hey, Lord, if she falls down, we are far away. Even ushers, even you were praying. <laughs> you will pray that if she falls down now, and she's wearing like this, what will happen? Brother, brother, your ministry will prosper, but come here. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you that you must not trust people. Yes, men of God. Yeah, because they are, they are working against you, these people. Yes, men of God, that is true. Uh, because I'm seeing these people want to divide your ministry. Exactly, men of God. So I, you must be very careful. I, I, issues of just looking at someone, you take him close, is very dangerous for you. Yes, men of God. Are you ready? Yes. So that's the reason why you came here. Yes. Because you are seeing that the church is... It's becoming small. Yes, yes, yes. So, but this year you will make it. Amen. My name is Prophet Jehu Monta. I come from Limpopo. The woman standing next to me is my wife. He said the church will grow because the devil wants to hinder the church. And I must be careful for people who want to divide the church so that it may not scatter. Yes, I was praying for a word from God to change my situation. And then I believe that I came at the right time because the man of God doesn't know me. I don't know him. He just located me and I found it to be true what he said. So I really believe that God really is in this place. And we are praying too much. Men of God must locate us today because of us. The church was not good. And we just want to thank God for a man of God today. He has prophesied our life and we are believing our life will be transformed and changed. I like to encourage people that if you have a situation that you are facing right now and then believe in God for a specific way for your situation, Cherish Missionary Church is the right place to be. Because I just entered here, I prayed, I was telling my wife that let, let us go to Charis Missionary Church. I feel in my spirit that we must go there. I believe the man of God has a wait for us. And then immediately when I entered here, the man of God located me and gave me my direct prophecy. I even came late. But he just located me. So I believe really uh, I've been ordered by God to come here. So I'm encouraging people who are looking at Charis Missionary Church that don't feel afraid. The devil might try to stop you to come here. But believe that this is a place where you will get a weight of prophecy. And then God will change your story. Amen. You are crying to be used by God. That's true, man of God. It's not true. Yeah. You are crying to be used by God. So much. I want God to open my eyes. You, you have been fasting, fasting, fasting. Fasting, man of God. I have a ministry and I cannot see. Huh? I cannot see. There are witches there in that village. Touch your eyes. I touch your eyes too as you are touching. Be anointed. Be anointed. Be anointed. Be anointed. You are free. My name is Asar Commander and I'm from Namibia. Yes, a man of God he told me that I'm praying that I want God to use me. And I, I've been praying, that's my prayer when I come here, so that at least uh, God will open my spiritual eyes so that I will be able to destroy the darkness kingdom and God to use me because I have a ministry. So that's my prayer. And I, I thank God for locating me because my prayer has been answered. Mm -hmm. 
been praying since uh, I became born again. I gave my love to Jesus. So uh, our generation in Vambuland, in Wangwena region in Namibia, is suffering of witchcraft world. You know, it needed the anointing that broke the chain of wickedness. So that's why I've been praying for all this probably like four, three years when I started my own ministry. So in Wangwena region, I've been praying God to anoint me and to use me because there are many people who are suffering of those demonic oppression there. And I just thank God for praying for me. The man of God, J.P. Maganesha, prayed for me and anointed me, of which I'm, going, I'm sure God has answered my prayer. Yes, uh, viewers all over the world, I'm praying that at least you can visit a man of God, J.P. Maganesha, here in Johannesburg, South Africa. You can come and pray for your minister. I'm inviting men of God, pastors. No? Some pastors, they don't like to visit the other pastors. But I know the anointing of God can be able to come and be prayed for. God can speak in your life. And God will also uh, uh, pray for you and your ministry and your country. All over the world, you must come and visit the man of God. So that God will speak in your life too. Because some people, they are passing through challenges. You need the word of prophetic grace so that it increases your faith. I'm praying you must come and visit. And God will bless you more. Like me, I'm blessed today. Amen. I must pray for you. Eh? Yeah. You see, your ears are starting to make sounds. Yes. Eh? Yes. And what is the cause? I'm not sure. Yeah. The, you always hear in the sound here. Yes, it's in the, true. In the ear. You need deliverance. Eh? Yes. You need deliverance because whatever you are doing, you don't prosper. Yes. Eh? Yes. There's no money that enters your hand here. Yes. I touch you. You are free. Prophesy me about the ears that there is sound on my ear and it's true. When I started realizing it, I was here and I was sitting next to the speaker. Then I thought maybe it was because of that. It affected me because this sound, it just come, then I hear the sound. Yes, I, I, must, I can encourage them that they have to believe to the prophets and they have to claim the, they have to claim their prophecy because whatever that the man of God is saying is true. Yes. Can you stand up? I'm hearing that someone died in your family. Excuse me? Someone died in your family. This year. But there's a spirit of death that is following you. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. Uh, someone died, now it's like they are looking for you. Because when you sleep, you see dead people also. Yes, true, it's true, man huh? of God. Yes, true. Uh, it's a spirit of death following you. Amen. Sometimes it's like you can't see. Because I can see your eyes are affected. Yeah, I, I use the glasses. You use glasses? Mm. My name is Sarah Ikadidi. I'm from Namibia. Uh, I received a prophecy for the spirit of death following me. Um, and the, uh, the problem for, for, for the eye. And this problem for the eye is mostly affected 50% of my family from my father's side. And the, and the, the spirit of death, eh? these, are, these are some of the dreams that I can remember. Some of the dreams I cannot remember. But the one I remember is just for, 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 for seeing people in the graveyard or me in the graveyard with some of the family member we are burying and the, that dream is also, also for my first daughter she's also dreaming maybe i dream we are in a graveyard uh, burying someone uh, but he does not know who um yeah you they can many viewers we can continue to we can continue those who are aspiring to visit the charis church charis church yeah you can be located even in the things that you do not know Oh, never away if they exist in your life. You are free, come. Where is your husband? Because I can't see anybody around you. Friend. Huh? I don't have a husband, so... I can't see anybody around you. Can you? God loves you, but you must forgive. Yes, man of God. Huh? You must forgive. There's someone who hate you. A lot that you yes, don't trust. Now you don't trust people. 
That's true. Huh? That's true, man Even of God. Even those who come close to you, you have got questions with them. That's true, man of God. You must forgive. Eh? Okay. So is that God will be able to bless you? Okay. You're free. I'm Neo Masilo. I come from Kalfunti Extension 4. I received a prophecy of struggling with forgiveness, and which is very true. I've been hurt by quite a lot of people in my life. As a result of giving up on people, I've built this shell around me. I question the genuine intentions of anybody that comes close because I think I'm protecting myself. Little did I realize I'm hindering my own progress, actually. So when I received the prophecy, it made me realize that I've blocked myself from so many blessings because I'm afraid of getting hurt again. So yeah, I feel free. I feel free and I'm happy that I came here today. It's a very heavy burden. It weighs heavily on you and it also eats you up as a human being because you question each and every little thing. Even the genuinest of things, you look at it and you ask, is it for real? So I came here very overwhelmed and the minute I entered, I felt a weight being lifted off my shoulders and couldn't be happier. I praise God for that. Set yourself free. Let go and let God. Because we ask him to forgive those who trespass against us. But if we can't forgive ourselves and forgive those, then nothing. We'll forever say, I pray, but nothing happens. We need to trust in his power. Forgive and let go and he'll make us whole again. But God wants to heal you also. Because in Amen. your family, there's a diabetic disease. Amen. You are it's right. not true. Yeah. My sister huh? have it. My mother has it. Huh? Type, type 2 diabetes. 2 diabetes. Yes, my sister has it and my mother also has it. But it's entering you now. Wow. Oh, Lord Jesus. God loves you. Amen. Because there's a cry that I'm hearing. When I pass it, I heard you crying. Eh? Yes, I heard you cry. So I was asking, what is happening? Eh, you, you are suffering a lot. Yes, they did. There's nobody who's taking care of you. Yes, they And did. I saw the family divided. Yes, it's true. You people are divided. Another one is doing his own things. The other one there. Yes, they did. And uh, you are just alone, but you are praying for the whole family. Yes, Because you will pray for unity. God must use you to unite your family. Thank you, Daddy. You understand? Yes, Daddy. But we must also pray against the spirit that make you people not to marry. Yes, Daddy. So God loves you. Thank so. you. The prophet I received from the man of God, he said, uh, I'm, I'm suffering. He saw me suffering, crying for my family because things are not going well in my family. So I confirmed the prophecy to be true because every day I, I am praying to God that he must help my family, deliver my family because... Especially in my children, things are not going well. And even my husband, he left, uh, he left the, the family to marry another woman. Mm, so it's the second time he did like this. So even my children, things are not going well. Especially the last born is sick. I don't know what to do because every day I'm praying to God that God must help her. Mm, that's the prophecy that, what, that the man of God told me. Uh, in fact, I, I'm feeling happy because I know prophecy comes with deliverance. I know I'm delivered. Um, the viewers, I, I can say that they must watch Charis TV and then they must uh, read the word of God always because uh, our answer is in the word of God. You want to marry? Yes, eh? Yes. But where is the person you want to marry? I think he's here. Huh? I think he's Call here. Him. Emmanuel. I thought you would say honey. <laughs> Is it him? Yes. I must pray for marriage. <laughs> Brother, we must pray for marriage. Eh? Must really pray for marriage. Yeah. Yes. You want to marry her? Yes, daddy. When? This, this coming month. Are you not having a child? I have. A child like this? Yes. And then, does she know? Yes, she knows. She knows. Uh, she knows? Yes. Are you, are you supporting the child or what? Yes, I do. Hmm. So, do you want to marry 
What, what about the mother of the child? What do you say? We separated, lady. You separated? Yes. Come. We pray for you. You want to marry him? You want to marry? Yes, daddy. Yes, daddy. It will happen. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You want to beat me? Ntakura. Eh? Ntakura. What's the meaning of that? Ntakura, makana. I will kick you. Brother, you want to marry this one? <laughs> you want to marry? Yes, daddy. Mie, mie, mie. Eh? Keep quiet. Tell you want to marry. Tell. I want to marry. Yes! Yeah. 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 Legal children does not get married. Say it, brother. I want to marry. Hey, 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 hey. Mira, mira, mira. Keep quiet. So, are you not seeing such kind of a character when you are with her? That she become very rough. Yes, I do sometimes. Eh? I do, yes. And you are questioning what is that? Yes. It's because of this spirit. So, this spirit will live where you will marry her. Amen. You see, that demon is coming out. Can you see that? Yes. Sometimes when you have got a partner, you must check some moods. You check how is your partner. That's where Satan hold him. Let's take you've got a short temper. Satan hold him there. You must check. You must not just say everything is fine. That partner needs deliverance on that side. So now if you just say, okay, everything is fine, you'll be surprised one day you are not moving forward because Satan is holding the partner there and the devil is using that to be your temptation. So you find that always you'll be fighting for nothing. But you need to be, to be alert and check. And you know the weakness of your partner. Your weakness of your partner is a strength for you where you can help your partner to overcome. And if you overcome, you have a testimony. Remember that I mean, your weakness, yeah, we must not use it to make you weak. We, we use it to make ourselves strong, if you are partners. So God loves you, you will make it. Thank you, dear. Uh, the prophecy was about marriage, yes, of which is it's true, yes, we want to marry. Uh, the challenges we're facing sometimes uh, of the misunderstandings when we're talking, uh, sometimes, uh, when, find, when we are speaking, you can find uh, maybe I can notice she is angry, like what the dish has mentioned. Then, uh, yes. Uh, words of encouragement to viewers is that um, when you have someone, don't look, don't check the height and don't check material stuff. Just look on love. Yes. Thank you. Leave her, leave her, leave her. There's a demon in this lady. Even in you. A spirit of stagnation, which is coming from your family. You people here, you are struggling a lot. Amen, eh? that's true, man of eh? God. That's true, man of God. And uh, you are trying many, many things. Amen, and we disagree in a lot of things. And like also you are fighting. Yeah, she doesn't listen to me at all. Eh? She doesn't listen to me. When it's I the same to applies her. to the brother. Amen. That's true, man. You saw that you must not hear from God. Amen. And so when, when she does this, I fail to pray. I, I feel weak. You feel weak? I feel weak. It's an me. attack so that you must not do anything for God. Amen. Bring him here. Put a mic in his mouth. It's a spirit that is fighting him. What are you doing to him? 
Why are you blocking his calling? I can't hear you. Huh? Why are you blocking his calling? You are very much discouraged. You Hello, are ve- huh? A lot. I can't hear. A lot. Somebody discouraged you. Somebody discouraged you. It's like you it's like you people here you tempt each other. You find that another one does this, another that that. that. So you are very much discouraged by someone here. Someone discouraged you here in the church. Yes, it's true, Daddy. Huh? It's true. So did you speak with the person? No. You are just discouraged. Can you remove what you wrote there? There's something you wrote to show that you are discouraged also. When did you? You didn't write something on Facebook. Hey, I don't remember. Concerning the keys. You don't remember about concerning the keys? No. Huh? No. Let me see your Facebook. Keys of heaven or what? You say keys of what? Is the keys of church? You wrote about keys of the church or what, what, what? Today? I don't know. What is your name? Lindiwe. Eh? Lindiwe. What's your surname? Luhabi. Eh? Luhabi. Let me see your Facebook. Don't write things that will bring discouragement. You wrote it today, eh? You didn't write something today. I did. Eh? I did. You wrote something today. Yes, but it was not about someone. But it's concerning the case. No. It's concerning what? Let me check. The one who holds the keys of where? Is it of church? Some people are like they are holding keys of heaven. Oh, the keys. Eh? Yes, I remember. It's today. You say what? It's today. Let me see. I don't know why you are clapping hands. You are clapping hands for me. <laughs> You are, you, are, you are beginning to know me today. <laughs> you don't know me. You are beginning to know Makaranisa or you know Jesus. You were supposed to be praising Jesus. Re- read what you wrote. Um, some people act like they are, they are biological children of God and the rest of us are adopted. God doesn't go by the position you are having at church. Holding the keys of the church doesn't mean you are holding the keys of heaven. It's not what I'm telling you. So crush that message. Okay, then. Crush the message and you'll be delivered. Amen. We must pray against an accident. Come. We must pray against an accident. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Yeah, because God has been saving you. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Satan has been fighting you now. What is left now? They want to plot against accident. Yes, sir. So that you must not be what God wants you to be. Yes, you understand? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I'll pray for you here. You will make it. Um, so, are you aware of what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Can you confirm that? Uh, uh, the, uh, my, my, my spiritual father, the father of my father, confirmed that he saw it on the dream. And the, I can't hear you. Um, my, grand, my grandfather in the Lord, um, he saw it in the dream, in, in the vision. 
and he said he stop it because the car of my wife was supposed to roll into uh, from the mountain into the into who, the who saw it in the dream my fa- my grandfather in the lord in the lord yes. who's that is uh, apostle mashaba huh? yes so and then you are praying against that yes i, I, I huh? every day i anoint the car when it, my okay, wife yeah? every day when my wife is going to work i anoint the car so that's what I'm talking about. Yes. I say, you must be careful of accident. Because this accident will be very serious. Yes, you understand? Yes. They will want to destroy you. I'm Pastor Masina from Soweto, White City. Uh, the prophet I received from the money of God, he saw, the, he, saw he said, he, he told me that he saw accidents, accident, car accidents. So I confirmed to him that my, grand, my, my grandfather in the Lord has saw, saw that accident. Um, through vision and he prayed for me and he announced it to me that every time when i go out i must declare i must i must anoint that car and to confirm that that this the very same car was been in accident twice when my wife was busy driving i'd like to tell everyone out there that whoever have has a problem let them come to charis and the god of this place will meet their needs and their desires